In this video, ghost screens are mixed in with basketball decision training to create random and variable practice. This is particularly useful if playing without live contact or in an individual workout with just the coach and the player. This can be a great bridge between on-air practice and using guided or live defenders. To introduce the ghost screen concept and just to develop comfort and confidence, you may wish to do some shooting challenges scripting the ghost screen movement, but being sure to randomize and frequently change the locations. Now a dynamic start is used to put the player in a situation where he can use the ghost screen out of a familiar game action. This is still part of the early warm-up phrase. The location of the starting point and the area in which the player ghost screens to are always random and variable. The player is encouraged to make the pass with one hand off the dribble. Now we are adding in our BDT cues. Hands behind the back resulting in a post score, but the score must be a different move every time, going both directions and using either hands. The hands up BDT cue signals the pass, and now the player will use the go screen, receiving the ball back for their shot. Even though this is on-air practice, we can still create a challenging environment for the player. Even just insisting that the kick out of the post be one hand adds an element of challenge and progression within the drill. Now adding more variability, the coach can drive the ball as opposed to giving a BDT cue. Here the player went out to the mid-range. We spoke about finding a window and staying close to the basket to get a more efficient score. The player is encouraged to use a different technique every time on specific actions. For instance, say I give the cue for two ghost screens, they should do two different things off the ghost screen, i.e. one could be a catch and shoot, the next time could be a catch and drive, or maybe catch and shoot a pull up. This is good just for creating more random practice. The coach can add lots of variability. Here I relocate, forcing a different passing angle, and then drive meaning the player finds his window in a different spot. You can see the challenge here with the constant thinking resulting in him even missing the layup. This is what we want when doing on-air drills. We don't want every rep to be the same. Different constraints can be placed on the player. For instance, they may finish using their weaker hand whatever side of the basket they're on. They may have to finish high off the glass. The coach can experiment and manipulate some different individual task constraints, even though this is still on air. On this rep, you can see the player does a much better job finding their window and remaining in a better scoring location as opposed to going out to the mid-range. To make this more fun and enjoyable, you can play with the player against the coach. We did. Coach gets two points for a miss, with the player getting one point for a score. 